Uh, I have four priorities uh, uh, in, uh, in my mission. The first one is enhancement of the political dialogue and uh, to transfer our expert uh, help, our authentic know-how from the reform and integration processes. Uh, last year we succeeded uh, to have a visit of, uh, let's say, former president of Slovakia to, to, to Bitola. Our prime minister visited, uh, visited uh, uh, the border, I mean, our police, police uh, unit at the, the, the border with, uh, with Greece. He was accompanied with the Minister of Interior, with the President of the Police Force. We had a visit, a working visit of uh, the Chief of our Armed Forces. Uh, we had uh, several others visit, for, for example, uh, the President of the, the Slovak Academy of Sciences, etc. etc. Uh, the second uh, priority is, of course, economic uh, diplomacy, and uh, we are also doing doing well in this field. Previous year, in February, we had the, the first ever uh, joint meeting uh, on economic cooperation, co-chaired by uh, two deputy ministers of economy. It took place in February here in Skopje. We succeeded to ex ex establish uh, the first ever direct uh, uh, flight connection between our two capitals. We are working hard on establishing uh, the, the Slovak Macedonian Business Club uh, uh, with the, the seat in Skopje. And of course, to open uh, honorary consulate of Slovakia in Bitola. The third priority uh, would be promotion of uh, Slovakia in general sense. Of course, uh, within this, uh, this uh, field falls also uh, uh, cooperation uh, uh, on academic level between universities, we are granting stipendia, etc., etc. And the fourth, uh, fourth priority or fourth area uh, is, of course, uh, consular assistance for our citizens uh, living uh, here in Macedonia. Definitely, it would be um, the advantageous uh, Macedonian uh, geographic position uh, on, the, on the economic map of Europe, I would say. Uh, Macedonia is uh, in the very heart of the, the southeastern uh, Europe or in the Balkans. It's a crossroad of uh, two important trans-European corridors, number 8 and number 10. Macedonia has uh, uh, relatively skilled and still uh, relatively cheap labor force. And of course, uh, uh, there is uh, also a policy of the government uh, supporting the, the foreign investments. Uh, I think that, uh, that Macedonia, uh, its people, its businesses uh, deserve uh, stability in terms of uh, politics, in terms of uh, social economic environment. And I sincerely hope that, uh, that uh, Macedonia uh, will be on a good, good track.